Well, we moved to Manhattan Beach about 1959 and have no interest in leaving Manhattan Beach either. I was a veterinarian, mainly in small animals, which uh, involves uh, dogs, cats, birds, and occasional exotic, uh, being a mountain lion, uh, this type of thing, the dentistry with that. But I actually retired in 1990. Roy and his wife were enjoying their retirement, but Roy started experiencing changes in his body. I could feel something in my stomach, lower abdominal area, and I took my pulse and I found it to be very irregular. He was still very active, doing all the things that he wanted to do in his life, um, but he started getting short of breath and more fatigued. And I thought, you know, there's time to do something about this and check this thing out. He was found to have severe symptomatic aortic stenosis. Stenosis is a hardening of the heart valve. Until recently, the only option was open heart surgery. And they said, you know, you ought to see if you can be a, be a candidate for the transcatheter method of repair because you need to be repaired because you're not going to be alive in a couple of years otherwise. And he happened to be our 100th patient uh, for the TAVR program that was started uh, in 2014 here at Torrance Memorial. TAVR uses a revolutionary new technique for valve replacement. The entire procedure is done through the femoral artery, similar to standard heart catheterization. This is a heart model um, that has been bisected to show the heart chambers as well as a couple of the valves. These two chambers are, this is the left ventricle, the bottom left chamber of the heart. This is the bottom right chamber of the heart. And the bottom left chamber of the heart squeezes blood out through this valve, aortic valve, into this pipe and distributes blood to the rest of the body. Now with aortic stenosis, the valve here in this position has been calcified, narrowed, and just does not open, placing significant pressure on this bottom left chamber of the heart to work extra hard to push blood out to the rest of the body. The procedure is performed in a specialized hybrid operating room that has both the full capabilities for heart surgery and advanced imaging technology. These imaging tools are critical for the medical team to navigate and deploy the valve with great precision. A key part of the procedure is prepping the valve for its journey through the circulatory system. First, the valve has to be made small enough to fit in the femoral artery. A special clamp compresses the valve over a deploying balloon. The valve is transformed from this to fitting inside this small incision. From here, skilled physicians navigate the new valve to precisely the right spot in a beating heart. Here, we are depicting the transcatheter valve. We advance it through the groin, across the native valve, and when the balloon is inflated, the valve is deployed. And we're going up with the valve, and the valve has been deployed. Dr. Azam has been involved in pioneering this work and has performed hundreds of these procedures. Under his guidance, the Torrance Memorial team is proud to do their 100th case today, more than any hospital in the South Bay area. Now you have a new valve positioned inside the native patient's valve, which is now fully open and functioning, relieving the stress on this bottom left chamber of the heart. Now the heart can pump blood through this valve to the rest of the body. This less invasive method eliminates open heart surgery and means much faster recovery for the patient. Of course, this technology requires a highly skilled and experienced team. This is a, a team approach to treating patient, what we call multidisciplinary. We have the cardiac surgeons, we have the interventional cardiologists working hand in hand. It also includes patient's primary care doctors, you know, any other specialist involved in the patient's care, and as well as case management, social work, you want to make sure that patients have all the uh, options available for, you know, best treatment possible and best outcome. Well, the whole experience has been very rewarding. 100th patient, that's pretty cool. 
and the uh, people that I've met and the doctors that I've met, the nurses, just they're top grade, they're A1. We are beating the national resu outcome results by far at Torrance Memorial in every category. Uh, we have the technology, we have the skill set, we have the team dedication, and we have the hospital support. And, and we're, we're very excited about it and we're very fortunate as well as proud to showcase our results because ultimately this is what matters to the patients. Having the ability to offer this technique and an, an option for them to continue to live and live a better life, it's amazing. The hugs from the patients and the family members don't stop. It's like a trip to the moon as far as the technology is concerned. It really is just, it boggles the mind. Torrance Memorial, exceptional care, exceptionally close.